first of all, um, to discover something is indeed structural would take t time. It's not anything you could make an inference about quickly. Secondly, we know there's a lot of hysteresis around the unemployment process. So the speed of expanding employment uh, really matters for how it plays out over time. The slower it happens, uh, the more some workers lose skills, some workers stop searching, uh, and so the process goes more poorly after that. Uh, I don't think that with suitable macro policies um, there's any reason to think that in time we won't go back to a more normal level of employment when the economy is doing well. Uh, I think we have to recognize this was an enormous hit on the economy. Um, we're fortunate that uh, the Fed and the Treasury acted so dramatically uh, to prevent our sliding into something as bad as the Great Depression. Uh, the bailout of the large banks, as unpleasant as it is in contemplating, was absolutely essential for getting the economy going. We would have much, much higher unemployment if it wasn't for that. Uh, and so we're starting from a place that is unusually high unemployment, uh, and I think the process is going to be slow, and that's painful for the whole economy, painful obviously for the people having trouble finding jobs. But I'm a believer in markets. I'm a believer in capitalism. I think the economy is very adaptive. Uh, workers and employers adapt to what will work to make the economy function. And so I see no reason to think that once we get fully over this, we don't go back to normal times.